Ken Bruce from Dirt Track Digest. We're here with Craig Von Dorn, winner of what we hope is not the final Grand 76er, but that, you know we know it's it's quite possible. But first of all, Greg, congratulations! Uh, you've had a hell of a year here this year. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did. It started with a win with a ten thousand uh, dollars Bruce Rogers race, which you know we we didn't really do too good notes before, but won this year, and we had a good car all year long, and. Uh, you know, thankful for everybody involved in this program. Uh, talk about, you know, the race tonight. You know, you started, didn't have a great starting spot, obviously, but you sort of like, you hung in there fifth, sixth, for what you got up there, fifth, sixth, seventh for a while, and then you used a couple of really good restarts there at the end to get you to the front. Yeah, we just, you know, you know Kevin was, was racing with the five car, and we just couldn't go anywhere. You know, Kevin couldn't clear the five, and 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 you know i'm just waiting and you know they were going they weren't really holding me up i just you know it, it just was what it was and and then um you know on that restart kevin shoved a little bit and i found the center and, and kind of split them guys and you know got right to whatever fourth and then we went down into one and you know again i ran i ran the middle and um i i forget who i cleared then but you know and then i got by brett and and i thought jeff was really good he made the he was, you know, them coal cars, they run, they like to run long straightaways, and uh, he was making the straightaways real long, and um, I wasn't sure. And then, uh, again, we got that restart starting second, and I, I went through the center, you know, the brown part, and uh, just got enough of grip to get ahead of him, and, and uh, I was surprised. You know, I watched a couple laps later, I looked, and I saw the 19 was second, and I thought, okay, well, I knew where he'd be banging the top, and... Uh, so I tried to stay up there a little bit, and um, you know, then when that red came out, it's like I had to protect against a slider because I figured it was coming, which is what it is, right? I mean, it's it's racing, but uh, you know, I was glad when it was over. Yeah, you, know, you and Brett had some pretty good battles here this year at Diamond at the seventy-six at the Coal Cracker. Uh, you know, you sort of ran two different lines there. You were running a little higher in three and four. And one and two, you seem like you're running towards the middle a little more. Yeah, it, 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 it's been that way for the last couple of weeks. You know, top. You know, I guess from the shade being in the trees up there, uh, the top stays pretty good. And one and two, it's usually around the bottom. And um, like I said, I, the, I found the brown in the middle, and uh, we could really roll through the roll through the brown really well. And um, you know, and, and wasn't sure. You know, like I said when we had when we had two to go there. Um, I wasn't sure which which route to take, but um, I guess it worked. The one I took. Yeah, you know, the year here you start out with the money maker win, and then you won a couple of nice thunder on the hill shows, and then you know you win the championship, which then you're thirteenth, I think, and uh, you come back and win the seventy sixer. We hope for this not this final season. You know, you you hope so. I hope so, just for racetrack sake in general. But um, if it is to close, you know, to close out. What you did this year is, is something special for you. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we, uh, you know, we just had a, you know, a number of years here where we've been good and, and bad. And, um, you know, to, to finish it this year being on top uh, like we were all year, we, we should have won because I feel we had the best car week in and week out. And But you never know. It's a sixer. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, Jeff... Once Jeff was up front, I thought, oh, boy, because he's pretty good. And it, it really kind of didn't get as slippery as maybe he's used to or, or usually is, I should say. And um, we just got we just found a grip there in our center and, and uh, you know, took advantage of it. Yeah, you've had a long relationship here with the, the Rogers family. And if this is the last year, you know, what, do you, what can you say about them that – hasn't already been said. I mean, they've been a great family. They've given a lot to the racers, and, you know, you've made your living here for the most part. Yeah, by, by far. I mean, this is this is our most, uh, you know, the income we get here is by far better than anywhere else we race. And, um, you know, it, it, it'll be sad, but it'll be it'll be hard on me. And, and, and But it is what it is. It, it's not it's not the Rogers family to support Greg Von Dorn or, or make a place of entertainment for – you know all the fans i mean it, it is what it is if they had enough then they had enough i mean there's nights i had enough too so i, I understand where they're coming from you get that kind of money um you, you got to do it but you know hopefully you know hopefully it doesn't work out you know and uh but again if it does it is what it is right you know culminate the season here you were in off oh, to you know you were inducted in the dirt car dirt motorsports hall of fame 
championships here, you know, big wins, and uh, you've, you, it's really, you know, how can you just sum up your year? Very special. Very special year. I mean, uh, we started out in Georgetown winning that race, and, uh, you know, we just got good cars and good engines and good package, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm feeling better. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of my wife put me on an eating program, and we're both on an eating program, and, you know, I lost about 20 pounds, and I have zero backache, and um, I think that was a lot. I, f I feel my, my my mind's a little clearer, and um, it, it's it's amazing. You know, she said, just give me two weeks of no 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 breads and no sugars, and I thought there's no freaking way. I mean, I'm I'm a hoagie guy at lunchtime type thing, and but it it worked, and I feel great, and um, I'm thankful for her. Well, we know even if Brandy does, you know, not come back this year, we know you're. We know you're not done racing yet. You had a hell of a year this year, probably about 15, 16 total wins. So, you know, what's if they does close, what's you know next year possibly look like for Craig Van Dorn? I don't know. They got to make the announcement first. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a lot. You know, I've been racing 43 years, and I missed a lot of things. And you know, uh, a good friend of mine just lost his sister yesterday, and uh, you know, she got sick in the morning and and, and passed away in the afternoon, and. It just shows how, how fragile life is, and like I said, I'm, I'm grateful for all the racing stuff, but, you know, we we definitely missed out on a lot of things in life, too. All right, well, we're here, like you said, with Craig Rondorn, winner of the Freedom 76er over uh, Brett Kresley and Jeff Strunk. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you very much.